Did your mother have any home remedies that she would give you when you were sick? Well, I remember mother having pink pills, pills for pale people. And I saw the house in Brockville that the guy had built that that's advertised those. And apparently all they were were iron. It was just very, very good advertising. Huh. And uh, I think they got as far as Manitoba, but uh, they never got all the way across Canada. Yeah. But his pink pills for pale people were, were pretty popular. Yeah. Well, I think we probably were given uh, mustard plasters if we had uh, uh, much of a chest cold. Uh, uh, they were pretty popular in those days. Do you remember what a mustard plaster involved? Mustard plaster? Yeah. You'd, yeah, what did that involve? You'd have it with a, with a flour and a little mustard, and you made a paste out of it and put it on cloth. And you had to be very careful you didn't burn the skin and then you have to watch carefully and you didn't leave it on too long hmm. no it, it was a very good remedy before penicillin came in yeah and what was it supposed to do just uh, uh, relieve the, the uh, congestion in the, in the chest and I suppose that would just uh, uh, you know, that would help things getting rolling in the right direction, mm -hmm. yeah. And would she do anything if you if you cut yourself? Oh yeah, they were pretty good with the iodine. And uh, on one occasion, you know, this was before my time, my older brother got uh, his knee badly cut with the axe. He was playing with the axe and he shouldn't have been. Dad apparently just dumped some iodine in and then he sewed it up. But the next day he took him into town to the doctor. I presume they would have had to have gone with a horse and buggy. And the doctor said he couldn't have done a better job. And then years later, dad was fooling with the dog and the dog bit him right on the nose and ate the pull of skin. And he wanted mom to sew it up. Well, mom wouldn't do it. She said, it'll hurt, <laughs> you'll get mad at me. So he stood in front of the mirror and sewed his own no the skin on his own nose. Huh. Can you imagine? But I remember mother being very sick and, and having pernicious anemia. And she was in the hospital in Winnipeg and we're all going down to Winnipeg. And I remember some of the people in the ward, we had to walk through a big ward and then she was in a, in a semi-private room and they said, no wonder she's sick, <laughs> seven kids. <laughs>